Hello AI enthusiasts, welcome back to Skill Curve. Forget lab codes and million dollar servers. The future of AI is knocking on your PC's door. Introducing Jan.ai, your open source playground for cutting edge AI models. All right, so here I am on the official website of Gen AI. You can see right over here. So the punchline says, bringing AI to your desktop, okay? Like open source chat GPT alternative that runs 100% offline on your computer. So if we see like it is available for Mac M1, M2, M3, Mac Intel as well, Windows as well, Linux, okay? One interesting thing that I love is that they are soon coming up with mobile app, okay? In which you can run like large language models locally on your mobile device. So that would be something crazy. I wanted this thing from like ages, okay? I would love to test this thing out whenever it comes out, okay? So that's it for their website, okay? So now, what we're going to do, we are simply going to download it for the Windows, okay? Then we'll see how the interface looks and probably we'll try to run order to see like how things go around, okay? All right, so the download is complete. I'll simply run this uh, installer, okay? So it's saying like it's installing. All right, the installation process like went really smooth. You can see right over here that this is how the interface looks like, okay? It's pretty much like uh, chat GPT okay you can create a new chat uh, you can like give it a title okay so in this part you need to provide you know, with the system prompt okay uh, like the system prompts are really important I have like uh, showed you a variety of use cases with system prompts in like previous videos okay so in here you can like uh, choose the model so they have built-in model like GPT-4 3.5 turbo okay so you can simply choose between them. You just need to provide in with your API key right here, okay? So that's actually great, okay? So now if we just go to like explore the hub section, so in here you can see that they have like a variety of models, like Mistral 7BQ4, then Open Hermes Neural 7BQ4, then Stilt 7BQ4, then they have like Open Chat, Open AI GPT 3.5, okay? Uh, 3.5 Turbo. They're like pre-installed. You can use them with API key. That's really great. Then they have like Tiny Llama Chat 1.1b. Let me just uh, try to download this one. Okay. Then I can also download like Deep Sea Coder. This is also a really great model. Okay. Then I can also download like Llama 2 Chat 7b. I think these three models are enough for this uh, video. Okay. Actually, I want to see that how you can switch between different models to take back the responses. So let me just simply finish the download part. Then I will be back with the testing. Okay. All right. So you can see that our tiny llama chat 1.1b along with deep sea coder and llama 2 chat 7b are successfully downloaded. Okay. So it's that simple. Now we simply need to head towards to the thread tabs. Okay. So now we can choose like the model from here, okay? Like now we have like this model, this one as well, and this one as well. Along with like three different models from OpenAI, which we can always use inside of this thing, if you provide with like our API key, okay? So there are some inference parameters like frequency penalty, presence penalty, okay? Uh, temperature as well, top P as well. Then there is the model parameters in which you can provide in with like system message, okay? And there are different settings which you can uh, maneuver, okay? All right, so now if we just try to run our first model, which is like tiny llama chat 1.1b, and if I give it a prompt like, what is generative AI, okay? Let's send it to see like how it works. So you can see that it's loading like the model. Okay. All right. The generation speed is pretty fast. I am literally impressed. Okay. And this is like a great response. Okay. You can read right over here. Now, if we just switch our model, like if we just go to like Llama 2 chat 7b. Okay. So now you can check like what different models are performing under the same thread. So that's really important. Suppose that I want to give the same prompt to Llama 2, which I gave to like Tiny Llama. Okay. So you can do that. You can see that it's loading like Llama 2 chat 7b. 
the switching of model actually takes a little bit of time. All right. So now you can see this response, which is coming from Llama 2. Okay. I just gave it the same prompt. And now you can compare. Like this was the response from Tiny Llama. And this is the response, which is much detailed coming from Llama 2. Okay. First, it's saying like there are three to four types of generative AI. Okay. You can uh, read here. Then it says that generative AI has potential applications such as content creation, data augmentation, creative writing, chatbots. Then it's saying like generative AI has like several challenges like quality, then training time, mode collapse, ethical considerations. Then it gives like a solid conclusion. So this is the power of this tool in which you can simply chat with like multiple models. Okay. Check like which model suits you. Then you can choose that one. Okay. So now let's try to run the last one, which was, I guess, deep sea coder. Obviously, this model is related to coding. So I could say like write a function in Python to generate prime numbers. OK, you can see that my Internet connection is disconnected. Like I'm not connected to Internet and this works actually totally offline. That's the main advantage of this application. OK, so we just click on send. So it's just a loading deep sea coder like 1.3 billion. Okay. This would be like relatively faster than like the 7 billion llama model. So I hope it finishes quickly. All right. So you can see here that it just came back with a response. It says like here's a simple function that uses a sieve of Eratosthenes algorithm to generate prime numbers. So this is the code, okay? So now you can see right over here that this code block is differentiated. Same like it is in the chat GPT's UI. And you can copy the code from here as well, which is looking like really great, okay? So now you have seen that we have like tested three different models and like testing a model is really simple. You just need to download it from this hub. You can also download the models manually from Hugging Face or you can simply search the name of the model here and it would like pop up. So that's really easy and simple. Okay. Now you can simply run any open source model locally without internet connection. That's really important. I'm not connected to any internet and my model is actually working. So that's really cool and amazing feature of this application. And I'm like really curious about this like mobile app, which is coming soon. Okay. So I will surely make a video on that as well to test any like large language models on mobile devices because I know like a lot of mobile devices nowadays are like really capable enough. Okay. They have like great processors and they're like great machines. They can easily run like any open source model locally. So this would be a great initiative and I'm looking forward for that. So that marks the end of our this video. I hope you like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I shall catch you up in some other one. Till then, have a good day. Bye.